So have you ever had one of those days where you're trying to shoot a YouTube video and everything that could go wrong did go wrong? It was kind of a Murphy's Law situation. Well, Mr. Murphy visited me yesterday and I had a particular issue with my Sony a6400 and not all of the team China, not Google, not anything would seem to solve what was going on. I couldn't work it out. Eventually, after about two hours of literally tearing out all my hair, I managed to fix it. I'll tell you more about it after this. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Keith and on today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my Sony a6400 and a really annoying bug or um, feature or uh, whatever. Um, I use the face tracking feature on the Sony a6400 to keep me in focus because I'm quite animated with my hands when I'm making this type of video and it just works really well. It just seems to never fail. In fact, I'd say it's better than the dual pixel system that's on the Canon cameras. Um, and I used to think that was amazing, but this, this is just something else. And it's one of the main reasons I bought an a6400, um, besides the fact that it shoots in 4K, not cropped. Canon looking at you again. Um, anyway, um, so yesterday I decided after looking at the, the videos that I'd already produced uh, in this new studio that I might try and start shooting in 4K and then downsampling it to um, 1080p because it might just give me that little bit of extra sharpness. Now I'm using a Sigma 16mm lens on here which is amazing for the money. Um, but I just wanted a tiny bit more sharpness and I thought 4K would give me that. So I switched the camera to 4K. The minute I did that, the face tracking feature switched off. In fact, I can show you a demo of this here. As you can see, I'm switching it to 4K and the icon down here, which indicates whether the face uh, tracking is on or off, goes off. And I, for the life of me, could not figure this out. I thought maybe it's because I made a change to the color profile setting. So I was going through the menu system forever. I was Googling if, if it even works in 4K and Sony website says it does. So I was thinking, right, what am I doing wrong? And I was, I was getting to the point where I was just getting really frustrated. So I went out, I came back in, I had another Google and I couldn't fix it then. I went to dinner, came back again and I couldn't find anything on Google that really told me what was going on. Everything indicated that it should work. And eventually I stumbled upon something on an A7 III forum that said that face tracking 4K only works if you disable the Wi-Fi. And I thought, well, I've got the Wi-Fi enabled, and I'll let you into a little secret. The reason this uh, IKEA obligatory grass plant is here is not just for aesthetics. It covers up my iPad, because I use the iPad as a second reference um, screen, because it has a grid view on it, and I can make sure the table's lined up and everything is perfect, and it all looks good. And I also use it to stop and start recording. So what I did was I put the camera into airplane mode. And if you watch what happens here, the camera goes into airplane mode, and look, face tracking starts working. And I couldn't find anything on Google, as I said, until I stumbled upon this A7 III uh, website. So I've decided to make this video because I can't be the only one that's run into this. And it just was so frustrating. And I have to say, I'm gonna go on a tiny bit of a rant here. Why Sony, why do you seem to purposefully cripple this feature? It's a really useful feature to have. It seems to be on purpose. I can't think of anything technical as to why you do this and and it's also interesting to find out that this does work on the a6600 with wi-fi on so it seems to be something that you're crippling on this camera and i don't know why you do it i know that this is a thing of uh a camera companies do do this again i'm looking at you canon um but it, it, it's just so frustrating to the consumer so sony i'm begging you please just enable it in a firmware update it it, it must be so simple please because it would be really useful to shoot in 4K and use the iPad as a reference screen. Just would, please. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the uh, comments below, um, and I will try and um, answer them as soon as possible. I make videos around photography, camera stuff, drone stuff particularly, um, and I do travel logs because I live in Thailand and I go to some interesting places and I enjoy the creative process. So I'm going to continue making those even though they don't do as well on the, uh, the channel as drone videos. But as I said, I enjoy the creative process. So 
as I said, if you enjoy that kind of thing, please uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss another one of these videos. Anyway, guys, I hope you're safe and well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.